Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. Kapag daw pinag-aaralan natin ang polynomial functions, kasama na rin nating inaalam ang leading coefficients at constant term, tulad ng mga ito. Pero ano ang kinalaman nito sa lesson natin sa video na ito? This video presentation is about rational root theorem. So, ang leading coefficient at constant term ay bahagi nito, pero alamin natin yan sa theorem mismo. Rational root theorem is letting a sub n x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub 2 x to the second plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 equal 0 wherein a sub n is not equal to 0 and a sub 0 is equal to 0 if p over q is in lowest term is a rational root of p of x then p is a factor of a sub 0 and q is the factor of a sub n alamin natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin nito sa mga halimbawa and let's start find the roots of p of x is equal to x to the third plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 so aalamin natin ang leading coefficient yan and at the same time ang constant term so, ang leading coefficient ay 1 at ang constant term ay negative 2. Balikan natin, recall, ang leading coefficient ay dito makikita sa x to the third. So, yung kanyang numerical coefficient at ito naman ang constant term, yung walang kalapit na variable. So, let's continue. So, aalamin ngayon natin ang possible factor ng p over q na binanggit kanina sa ating definition. So, ang P ay stands for the constant term, kaya siya ay negative 2. At ang Q ang leading coefficient. Kaya, pag sinubstitute natin yan, it is negative 2 over 1. So, aalamin natin ng factor ng numerator or ng P, ng denominator or ng Q. So, ang possible factor ng negative 2 ay Negative 1 times positive 2 or positive 1 times negative 2. Kaya positive, negative 1, positive, negative 2. Ang denominator naman ay wala namang ibang factor kundi 1 lang at sarili. Kaya positive and negative 1. Sana nagiget natin. Therefore, ang mga possible factor natin ay dito natin kukunin. So, ito ay iyo over sa denominator. So, one at a time, ito rin iyo over sa denominator. Clear tayo. Kaya kapag in-over natin yan sa denominator, so magiging 1 over 1. So ulitin natin, magiging 1 over 1. Ito yan, 1 over 1. So kaya yun ay 1. Kasi 1 divide 1 is 1. So positive, negative 1. Same as with this 1. At saka ito. So positive and negative 2. So ngayon, alam na natin ang rational factors. Alamin na ngayon natin, alin yung magiging final answer natin when we talk of that. Gamit ang synthetic division. So remember that when we talk of synthetic division, we get the numerical coefficient of this. 1 dito, dito ay 2, dito ay negative 1, dito ay negative 2. Heto yan. Okay, sana nasusundan. Tapos, galing sa rational factors, pipili tayo ng gagamitin natin. It's either positive 1, negative 1, positive 2, negative 2. Pero ang itatry natin ay positive 1. So, sa synthetic division, ibibring down natin ang unang term. Ito, bring down that. Tapos, ito times natin dito. Tsaka ito, dito natin ilalagay ang sagot. And 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, then, i-add itong 2 plus 1. Dito naman ilalagay ang sagot. At ang sagot ay 3. Tapos, paulit-ulit na lang, ito, ito times down, that's 3. The negative 1 plus 3, that's 2. Then, dito naman tayo, 1 times 2 is 2. Tapos, i-add natin, that will be 0. 
So, may nakuha na tayong isang sagot kasi kailangan ay zero yung magiging sagot para maging rational root siya. Ngayon, may tatlo pang natitira. It's either you still apply synthetic division, by the way, pwede rin gamitin dito ang remainder theorem, or pwede na tayong gumamit ng depressed equation. Remember this, na pwede natin itong gamitin depressed equation like this. So, ito ay magiging x to the second, pababa, pa-decrease, ito ay 3x, tapos ito ay plus 2. So, ito yan. Okay, ginamit natin yan before sa nauna nating mga video. Bakit natin ito kukunin yung depressed equation? Sa halip na gumamit ng synthetic division kasi siya ay factorable, gagamit tayo ng factoring technique. So, factor natin. So, so sa video natin before, nagamit na yan, pero to check, ito ay 2 times 1, so, 2 factor yun noon. Tapos, para ma-check nyo, i-times nyo to, 2 times x is 2x, and 1 times x is x. Kaya, 2x plus x is 3x. Tama doon. Pwede nyo ring i-add na lang ito. 2 plus 1, 3. Tama dapat doon. So, syempre, yung x times x, heto na yun, x squared. Then, makukuha na natin ang value ng x by getting the opposite sign of this. So, ang x natin ay negative 2 at ang isa pa ay negative 1. Ulit, opposite sign nito. Positive, edi negative 2. Positive, edi negative 1. So, mayroon na tayo ngayong rational roots. So, yun yung 1, yung una kanina. Ito yon Tapos, saka yung dalawang nakuha natin kanina. At yung negative 1. Dahil sila ay rational number, so consider sila as rational roots. Sana you get it. Then, let's work on with the next one. Find the roots of P of X is equal to X to the third plus 8X to the second plus 19X plus 12. Same thing, ganun din yung gagawin natin. Magsisynthetic division tayo later on. Pero kailangan muna nating alamin kung ano ang mga possible niyang gamitin. So, leading coefficient, 1. Ano sa palagay niyo ang constant term? Okay, kung ang sagot niyo ay 12, that's correct. So again, possible factor ng P over Q, ang P natin ay 12 at ang Q natin ay 1. Therefore, that's 12 over 1. Factor ng 12, 1 times 12. Another factor, 3 times 4. May iba pa ba? Okay, mayroon pa and that's 2 times 6. So ibig, ibig sabihin, hanggat may factor, kailangan yung ilagay siya sa possible. Okay, then over. So ang 1, mananatiling positive and negative 1. So ganun ulit tayo. Over uli ito, over dito, same as this 12 sa 1, 3, and so on and so forth. So, as, alamin na natin isa-isa. 1 divide 1, that's positive, negative 1. Then, 12 divide 1, positive and negative 12. Then, 3 divide 1, yun din, positive and negative 3. 4 divide 1, positive, negative 4. Then, 2 divide 1, positive, negative 2. And, 6 divide 1. Positive and negative 6. So, ito yung mga rational factor na gagamitin natin at aalamin natin kung alin dyan ang rational roots gamit ang synthetic division. Okay? So, ulit, galing uli dito, we got the numerical coefficient. So, gagamitin natin one at a time, itry natin ang negative 3. So, bring down 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 8 plus negative 3 is 5. The negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. 19 plus negative 15 is 4. And negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. So, nakuha na natin ng 0. Siyempre, pag hindi 0 ang sagot, magtatry pa kayo ng iba pa sa mga rational factors. Ulit, kapag hindi 0 ang sagot, magtatry pa kayo dyan hanggang makuha nyo ang 0. Okay, dahil siya uli ay pwede na natin hanapin ang depressed equation. Yun na lang uli ang gamitin natin. At factorable din yan. Check ulit. 4 times 1 is 4. Then, 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay. Tama sa factor. Opposite sign. So, x is negative 4. x is negative 1. So, rational roots natin. Ito yung una. Okay. Kunin na natin siya. Negative 3. Ano pa? Negative 4. And, negative 1. Okay. So, proceed with the next. Okay, how about this one? So, find the roots of P of X is equal to 2X to the third plus 11X to the second plus 17X plus 6. So, ang kaiba nito dun sa dalawang nauna, 
Ang leading coefficient natin ay greater than 1 na, hindi na 1. Okay, so alamin natin pare. So let's continue. So leading coefficient, 2, constant term, 6. So therefore, P is 6 and Q is 2. Kaya magiging 6 over 2. So kukunin natin ang mga possible factor ng 6, 2 times 3, 1 times 6 at wala nang iba. Then possible factor ng 2 ay 1 times 2. Okay, sana nagiget. Ngayon, ano ngayon ang rational factor? So, dito muna tayo. 2 divide 1. That's 2. Then, 2 divide 2. 1. Positive, negative 1. Dito na tayo sa pangalawa. 3 divide 1. That's 3. Pero, 3 divide 2. Magkakadesimal. Kaya, fraction na lang gagamitin natin. Mananatiling 3 over 2. Then, dito na tayo sa pangatlo. 1 over 1. Positive 1. Ito pa rin yung positive, negative 1. 1 over 2. Ayan. So, wala. So, positive, negative 2 pa rin. The next is 6 divide 1. Positive, negative 6. And 6 divide 2, 3. May 3 na tayo. Ito. So, ibig sabihin, yan yung rational factors at aalamin natin kung siya ay rational roots. Gamit ulit ang synthetic division. Okay? So, copy the numerical coefficient. 2, 11, 17, and 6. So, try natin muna ang negative 2. So, bring down 2 tayo. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4. 11 plus negative 4 is 7. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. And 17 plus negative 14 is 3. And negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Therefore, 0. O, ulitin ko ulit yung reminders. Hindi lagi magiging 0 kapag naitatry natin. Ha? So, kaya pag may 0 na, pwede na tayong mag-depress equation like this. So, 2x to the second plus 7x plus 3 equals 0. Factorable, check natin. So, factorable siya. Check natin kung tama. 2x times x, 2x squared. Tama. Ito, 1 times x is x. Then, 2 time, 2x times 3 is 6x. Then, 1x plus 6x, or x plus 6x is 7x. Tama doon. Then, 1 times 3 is 3. Okay? Therefore, makukuha na natin si x. So, x is equal to, opposite sign nito, negative 1 over ito. So, ito yung numerator, ito yung denominator. Kaya, negative 1 na. Sana na get? Then, opposite sign ng kabila, negative 3. Okay? Therefore, ito ngayon ang ating mga rational roots. Negative 2, negative 1 half, and negative 3. Okay? Sana nasusundan and let's proceed with the next. How about this one? Find the roots of P of X is equal to X to the third minus 2X squared minus 3X plus 10. So, ganun ulit tayo. Hanapin ulit natin ang leading coefficient. Ang leading coefficient niya ay 1. Reminder sila, dito yun galing at ang constant term ay 10. Therefore, kunin natin ang possible factors ng P over Q. P is 10 and Q is 1. So, 10 over 1, factor ng 10, 2 times 5 and 1 times 10. Wala nang iba. Yan na yun. Over 1. Okay? So, rational factors, over ulit, 2 over 1 is 2, 5 over 1 is 5, then 1 over 1 is 1, then 10 over 1 is positive and negative 1. So, lag laging may positive negative. Okay? Gamit na ang synthetic division. An itatry natin ay negative 2. Bring down 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. Pag tinime si negative 2 at negative 4, that will be positive 8. And negative 3 plus 5 is Ah, sorry, negative 3 plus 8 is 5. Then, negative 2 plus 5 is negative 10. That's 0. So, siguro ulit. Ano? So, syempre, yun na yung binigay kong sample. Pero, again, may mga time na hindi 0 yung sagot. Kaya, magtatry pa tayo dito sa mga rational factors. Okay? So, gamit ulit ito. Depress equation. Pero, hindi ito factorable. So, kapag hindi factorable, gagamit tayo ng ibang paraan para makuha ang value ng x. You can use quadratic formula, you can use completing the square or extracting the square root, pero depende sa given. So, sa given na to, gamitin na lang natin ang quadratic formula. At kapag ginagamit ng quadratic formula, inaalam ang value ng A, which is 
1. O, dito galing ang A, ha? The negative 4 ang B. Ito naman yon At syempre, ito naman yung C. So, ito yung quadratic formula. X is equal to negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. At isa-substitute natin itong mga value na mayroon tayo dito sa mga letter. Check natin. So, minus or negative, I mean, ito yun. Tapos, negative ang B natin. Tapos, ito pa rin, B pa rin galing sa formula. Ito yung A, sinubstitute, at ito yung C, pinalit. Over 2, ito uli yung A. Tapos, try natin isimplify. Magiging positive na to, kasi negative and negative, plus minus, magiging positive 16, ito yon Tapos ito, pag t times negative 20, all over 2, kasi 2 times 1 is 2. Then, pwede natin itong isolve. 16 minus 20. That will be negative 4. Pero ito, pwedeng isimplify. 2 over, uh, 4 I mean, over 2 is 2. Pero ito, hindi na pwede. No? So, kaya magiging 2 plus minus. Ito yun, 2 na to galing dito sa 4 divide 2. Plus minus, ito yon Ito, all over 2 pa, kasi pwede siyang i-factor. Factor ng negative 4 ay 4 times negative 1. Dapat, kapag pinactor out yan, yung positive yung may perfect squared. So, perfect squared yung positive 4, kaya magiging 2 na lang yon Square root ng 4 ay 2. So, nanatili ito kasi wala na yan. So, we have that. Okay na? So, ngayon, pwede pa tong isimplify 2 over 2. Magiging 1 na lang yon kaya square root of negative 1. Ito kasi, maka-cancel out, 1 na lang yon pero di na sinusulat. So, ngayon, ang value ng x natin ay 2 plus square root of negative 1. Kinuha mo, ginamit yung plus. Yung isa naman, ginamit ang minus. At ang ibig sabihin nito, clarify natin, yung square root of negative 1 ay i or imaginary number. Then, hindi siya rational number kasi imaginary number siya. Kaya, isa lang ang rational root natin, heto lang. So, negative, to lang. So, itong dalawa ay imaginary because of this square root of negative 1 which means i. So, hindi siya makukonsider. Okay, kamato class? That's all. God bless us.